So folks, we're back here in Stormworks Sinking Survival, and we have an epic ship to check out here. Yes, it is the Poseidon. You know, from the Poseidon Adventures, where totally nothing bad happened to the ship. But yeah, this is a uh, ship by Plague Doctor. It does appear that this is going to be Plague Doctor's last ship for a little while, and it is an absolutely epic looking uh, ship here. And yeah, we're going to go on a little bit of a tour, but the only way to sink the ship is by hitting it with a tsunami. So we're here at the bridge. If you guys want to download this ship, I'll have it linked down in the description. And yeah, the scaling is actually really nice on this. I should probably turn. There is a island right in front of us. Not sure that's the way this thing's supposed to go down. But yeah, if you guys are excited for some more Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And I know there's one area of the ship I need to go find. And that's like the big, like, grand area with, like, the elevators. And it's like one of the biggest shots I think in one of the movies it actually might have been in the modern movie and yeah I think that has been recreated here in Stormworks so yeah it's extremely impressive now not every uh, deck or everything has an interior here that would be absolutely insane performance wise I mean it's already massive and oh here we go the ballroom okay I'm kind of familiar with this area a little bit honestly uh, actually quite lovely looking in here uh, can I play the piano is that a thing <laughs> I kind of feel like it might be Han. Hit the button. Oh, it's the ballroom light here. Uh, that's really cool looking, Han. Let's walk back through here. Oh, wait, folks. I found it. This is the room I was talking about. This is the one with the elevators in it. Oh, my goodness. It is gigantic in the game. Dude. Okay. I'm thinking this is like a one-to-one -one scale. Probably explains why we don't have, like, much interior. Plus, the amount of time it would take would be absolutely insane. And I just, I don't think Stormworks can handle something like that. But, this is glorious looking. I, I really, really do like the interior of the ship. Uh, or at least what interior is actually here. You know, if I recall right, and which some of my OG fans might remember, I think we sank, like, a mini Poseidon once in Stormworks. Uh, it actually was really cool the way it fell apart, but I think it was a much much smaller scale than what we have here so yeah just looking at the back of the ship here you've got all the little uh deck chairs uh there's like a little swimming pool in here which looks really good uh, i like that i love the lifeboats the way they look i don't think they're functional i don't think any of them are uh so this is like one of those ships where where um well pretty much it tips over uh in the movie <laughs> so lifeboats are not really gonna matter anyways so yeah, I think the only approach to this one is to do the tsunami trick. Now, in the movie, I believe it happens at night. We're going to do it in the day. Uh, that way you guys can see all the glory of this thing tipping over. Uh, the sink might be a little slow. I guess it depends on how this thing uh, hits it. I'm not really sure where all the water is supposed to pour in. By the way, for those who have seen the films, are you a fan of more of the modern one? Which I think came out... Actually, when I say modern, it's it's actually pretty old. I think it came out in the mid-2000s, and there was a, a really old one. Uh, comment down below if you've seen either. All right, there it is. The tsunami is on the way. It's going to hit us right on the uh, right side here. Oh, buddy. Okay, do we want to stay in here? You know, I thought about going to the area with the elevators, but I feel like you're going to get trapped there since there isn't a ton of actual interior. Uh, that might be a bit of an issue. So I just now realized something. We are in extremely shallow water because of the island that we were near. And oh, ho, 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 this might end up a lot worse. Uh, I don't know if we're going to quite do the capsize. Oh, never mind. I, I just lied. We're definitely doing the capsizing. Wait, is that a life ring that moves around on the top? Dude, I think it is. Wait, oh my goodness, it tips over so easy. I mean, to be fair, it does look like a very top heavy ship. And we are instantly over. We've already recreated it. Han, will it tip back, though, is the question. Uh, it might take a little more than a tsunami to take this thing down. Uh, we're about to see. Where is it going to settle? It, I think it's going to do a complete 360. Uh, wait. Uh-oh. Okay, Komodo just lied. It is definitely not doing a complete 360. It is, it is capsized, but um, we have a bit of an issue. We capsized in about, looks like... 20 or 30 feet of water. <laughs> it is impossible for this thing to sink right now. Um, that did not go quite according to plan there, did it? Uh, I feel like we're going to have to reset this. This thing is already settled on the bottom of the ocean. But hey, look. Look at that. The uh, actual uh, bridge is sealed. Um, we're just standing on it upside down. 
All right, so how about a part two here? We have much deeper water. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that the first time, but we do know that it does work as intended. It does stay upside down. Now it's a matter of how quickly does it sink. Here we go. Uh, if it doesn't sink quick, we might be hitting this thing with a uh, whirlpool too. Uh, but man, it is such a large, uh, glorious looking ship here. And oh, here we go. And there it goes once again. I do hope the life ring right there. Oh, don't land under the ship. There it goes. Oh, it might clear it this time. Okay. Uh, oh, we might be good. Hold on. Uh, yep, it just gets stuck up here, and it's going to splash back down. We are... <laughs> you can't really tell what's going on from the bridge. Uh, I didn't look inside where... Oh, my goodness. There's already a lot of water swirling around in the empty spots. Uh, wait. So, yeah, it gets trapped, and then it just comes right back. Uh, I'd actually like to see inside of the elevator area. I wonder if water penetrates that uh, zone. Because I think the in the movie, if I'm not mistaken... Uh, oh, geez, we're upside down. Yeah, it's like the... Uh, there's like a skylight or something in there. And it, I know it just it completely explodes. So, yes, folks, it does have the same effect here. Uh, the elevator actually blew off. And look, a big chunk of it actually... Oh, it did from the top. This thing did blow out. Actually, I think this is the floor. Okay, so a chunk of the floor came out. Is that an engine? That looks like an engine that fell from the ceiling, crashed down through the elevators. And as you can see, water is rapidly filling up this main area. You know, the author said that the sinking wasn't quick, but my goodness. There's a lot of water already coming into this thing. So yeah, it's not going to be like your traditional sinking survival because there's not really many places to go to be safe here. Uh, we could try to get back through. Uh, is this the elevator room? Okay, those are locked there. Uh, okay. That is the deck. I don't think you want to open that. Uh, I believe these are supposed to be elevators here. I think you have to get out on the deck. It's kind of weird that water isn't coming through that when I open that door, though. Okay, so I found the ballroom. The ballroom appears to be completely sealed. It didn't actually suffer any damage uh, during the capsizing there. Uh, so if you were to be in somewhere, it would either be the bridge or maybe here. Uh, seems like some pretty safe areas right now. So we're going to get a status check here. This is about, uh, looking at my recording software, about 10 minutes after uh, the capsize has happened. You can see the back part of the ship is starting to go down. So it's it's filling up with water. I don't think it's as slow as the author said. Um, but yeah, it, it does seem to be sinking at a decent pace. So we could let it just go down like this. But we could make it a little bit more extreme because I think it's just going to be a slow sink from here. And there's no real survival element since, like I said, there's not many places you can go. I mean, I guess I can come out of the bridge and just set in the life ring. But I think I want to stay inside of the ship for what's coming next. Also, not going to lie, it is super creepy being inside of one of these ships when it's capsized like this. Uh, let's go and seal that up there. Like, that's just water. Um... What is, like, the glass strength? And I know there's somebody who's going to be able to answer this because I have a wonderful comment section. What kind of pressure could these windows take? Uh, are they, like, normal windows? Or is this even a thing? Or would these things break open? Okay, we're just going to... We're going to hold on to this thing upside down. Oh, wait. Is that water? The holes that were behind us, they look like they had water in them. Uh, the rear section's going down pretty rapidly. But as you can see over to the... Oh, right in front of us, actually. Uh, we're gonna make sure this thing goes down uh, lickety split here. We do have a whirlpool that's formed And this is probably like it used to be tsunamis were my like my favorite natural disaster But then the whirlpool came and I realized they're just so much more destructive and the way they can fling massive ships including this Big Poseidon ship here and here we go. I don't think we're really close to the sea floor here So it's not gonna bang off the bottom of it. Uh, that is one really devastating thing about these whirlpools is when you're close-ish to the seafloor, it will send it right into it. There we go. Oh, I see the life ring is down below it. <laughs> it is just tossing it. Oh my goodness, it's just swallowing it up here. There is only the tip of the ship is poked out. This thing is getting more water into it as this happens. So there's a good chance this thing doesn't resurface after the whirlpool. And this thing completely uh, swallows it up here. Uh-oh. Looks like it's starting to disappear here. 
it's like more and more of it is getting eaten up and I think it's permanently pinned uh, the rear of the ship wait what happens if this ends and it like tips back up uh, I don't think that's very possible I think once this thing gets on its side it's it's gonna take a ton to get it stabilized back up again Honestly, I, I thought about riding on the outside of this. That probably was not advisable. Doesn't look like it'd be a very, very fun time. Wait a minute. What is the whirlpool? Oh, it's getting... Wait, is it getting more shallow? No, it's definitely dissipating, isn't it? Uh, where is that going to leave the ship? You know, I'm actually surprised how resilient the front end of this is. But I feel like when this whirlpool ends, is it going to pop out? No, oh, yeah, it's definitely dissipating. Uh, it's not near as big as it was. Is this the time? This might be the time to try to exit the ship. Okay, we're going to jump out. We're going to go ahead and attempt to get to one of the doors. If we can get out of this thing, it's no longer underwater. At least the front part is. Uh, come on. Come on. Get to the... Oh, my goodness. Okay, I can't... Wait. Can I actually get out of here? here? Let's go through the hall here. Yeah, I think the side doors are... Wait, is this thing completely locked? You know, I did teleport in here. Why do I feel like I can't actually get out of this thing? Oh, maybe it is on the side. Okay, go, 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 go. Is it on the side? Nope, I definitely teleported into here. This is completely sealed, right? Yeah, I don't think there's a chance of actually dying in this thing at the moment. Oh, uh, take a peek out. Oh, yeah, where it settled, it settled a lot lower than where it started. We're just going to teleport to the top of this thing, and uh, we're just going to watch it go down. I don't think there's really much of an option here with what else we can do with it. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the uh, the back, it is completely submerged. And that's just going to slowly fill up here. And I think at some point it'll probably accelerate once it gets halfway through. But here's a view of the underside. That looks so cool, the way it's lit up. All right, so I had to climb up the ship a little bit. But as you can see, it is finally going down. Uh, the back half has rapidly descended into the ocean. And the nose is standing up. Uh, I think we're deep enough, so it should actually go. Oh my goodness, Let's actually, look at that. Look at the poor little guy standing there, and oh. <laughs> well, thankfully, I don't think I can ragdoll and slide down, but that looks really cool, actually. So, here's a view of the front of it. It is just standing up. Wait, how deep is it? Is it gonna just stand up, or is it gonna go down from here? Uh, it might take it a second. It is definitely doing something, uh, kind of odd. She's going straight vertical. I could see it's about on the bottom of the ocean. There's a chance this thing might actually stabilize and rest this way. Hold on, here it goes. Uh, I'm kind of using the the name as a reference, and uh-oh. I think we just stalled. It completely just stopped. Dude, it's totally touching the bottom, isn't it? <laughs> this thing isn't going to go down. Uh, it might need to be in a little bit deeper ocean there. Uh, but the Poseidon has stabilized, so if you're in the front of the ship, you probably were actually in decent shape. But nonetheless, a very awesome creation. Check it out in the description. We'll see you guys next time.